from BTC people had the same idea, <laughs> basically, <laughs> where this one guy, Laser Hoddle, he said on Twitter, if we had to die for Bitcoin to succeed, it would be worth it. And then this one other guy uh, who followed him was Satrinity. He said, we're the 300 Spartans. So this was a couple of days after I'd released uh, my video. And I don't think they knew about that, but it was funny that they had had, that got those same vibes of, yeah, it's us just the fighting up against the, you know, outnumbered by the bankers and, and everything like that. And this was a classic moment because then we were able to uh, be cashy and I were posting our video in the comments. And the, the best part about it was that these guys who were saying we die for Bitcoin and everything, they then just immediately blocked us on Twitter because they didn't like uh, our video sort of uh, got under their skin, right? So it was, it was a bit of a encapsulation of the whole thing where Bitcoiners like to believe that they are the true original hardcore minority. But the fact of the matter is since their whole premise now is just our price is higher and that's really it they've kind of lost the original vision of actually trading peer-to-peer -peer with people so if you call them out on that they're really fragile and they just <laughs> immediately block you but in their head they're these ultra tough warriors that are going to go the distance but they can't even stand one <laughs> one one comment on twitter and they're already uh they're already salty so it's pretty obvious to me that that's a, a coin that is not going to be able to hang in the long run when when their own supporters are that uh, kind of, you know, easily perturbed uh, just on Twitter. You know, I don't, I don't know. What do you think about that? Well, I was actually kind of even thinking about it, like from a digital marketing perspective of, you know, part of what digital marketing is all about, especially social media marketing is sort of building the conversation or encouraging the conversation. So um, it's, it's not really productive when, you know, somebody gets really touchy about some of these subjects, but um, you know, being able to have that conversation with people who have, you know, two different opinions about two different kinds of cryptocurrency, there's value in that. I kind of wish that they would have been a little bit hardened up a little bit on it so that you could yeah. kind of have that conversation back and forth with each other.